Hi, it's Tara. It is one month into my Bell's palsy journey, four weeks since I was diagnosed. And I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, every day I do see a little bit of progress, which I guess is the way that this works. And so it's encouraging that I do, I, I always wake up and I kind of look in the mirror and I assess things and I'm like, oh, you know, moving this a little bit more, there's a little bit more, you know, movement here. So um, I would love for this process to move a lot faster, but at the same time, I am encouraged by the fact that every day I do see a little bit of improvement. So I would say overall, the place where I see the most improvement is in my mouth area. I do kind of wish it was my eye, I would love for my eye to close. But the fact that my mouth is moving more functionally is um, great. Um, so just to show you real quick, when I don't talk, kind of the symmetry of my face. So I'm taking off these glasses here. So you can see my mouth is much more even. Um, the droop continues to improve. My kind of lip structure continues to improve. Um, still some sagging in my eyebrow. My eye, the area that's really bothering the most, you can see it's really watery, is my lower eyelid, which is droopy. Um, sometimes it seems a little bit better, but in general, it's still pretty droopy. And I think that is contributing to, I think they call it crocodile tears. Um, so basically my eye can just be very watery through the, through the day. And I'm understanding that as that lower eyelid, as simple as it seems, has a very important function to like keep your tears in your eyes or your lubrication in your eyes. So throughout the day and at various times, it kind of is worse and then sometimes it's better, but there is still like a constant need to like wipe my eyes. So that's annoying, but you know, my mouth moving better is great. Actually yesterday, I haven't been able to drink from a straw since I was diagnosed. And yesterday I went to go get, or a couple days ago, went to go get an iced coffee and it had a straw in it. And I wasn't even thinking, and I just started drinking it with the straw. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm drinking from a straw again. So that's really great. Obviously I still can't smile. So if you see my smile here, it's still crooked. However, there is some little bit of movement when I really try kind of in this area. And obviously my lips, the fact that I can drink from a straw, my lips are improving as far as their, the muscle tone. Um, and my, my voice doesn't sound as like slurry or mumbled as it did before. So there's definitely good stuff happening in my mouth area. Um, my eye obviously still can't close it. However, my eyebrow in this corner here, when I try to raise it, there is a little bit of movement there. And then when I try and like crinkle my eyes, um, you can see my kind of in the same little, little inner area here, some movement. And you're not gonna probably be able to see it on the video, but when I blink, just naturally blink, my eyelashes do move a little bit. So again, very small improvement, but improvement. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Thankfully, my nostril, the breathing issue with my nostril is way better. In fact, I wouldn't even say at this point I'm noticing any issue with like stuffiness in that right nostril. Um, so the muscle tone in this part of my mouth and my cheek has come back. So my nostril isn't saggy as much. Uh, so that's about it. Um, my eye yesterday, I... <laughs> After a month of doing this, you kind of sometimes just get used to it. And when you're, you know, you're not as careful maybe as you were initially. So yesterday I was really busy. I was out doing things, running errands. And by the end of the day, my eye was like, I want to say painful, but it was like getting painful. I was doing the eye drops. It wasn't really helping. And so I don't know if I got something in my eye or if it was just irritated that maybe I wasn't doing the drops as regularly as I should have been but it was pretty red yesterday afternoon and most of today. Um, I think it's actually a lot better now. So I just need to be more mindful. Uh, that's the big thing obviously with Bell's palsy is that the facial paralysis eventually should resolve. But the last thing you wanna do is end up with some issues with your eye. And I wanna show too, I usually when I'm at home wear my motorcycle goggles. If you saw those in one of my earlier videos, um, those really do help to keep like the air out and so that my eye, you know, isn't getting air and everything and debris always in them, but they don't look, well, actually I've never worn them out of the house. That would be interesting. 
Um, so those are really for home use. So for going out, I ended up finding these, I think they call them moist, moist no. Um, I don't know, something to help keep the uh, moisture in your eyes because you're not having as much air hit your eyes. Honestly, they're better than nothing. They're better than regular glasses. They don't do a lot. This little kind of barrier here on both sides. But they're not bad looking and they do give me, you know, some some comfort that like if some debris came out came at me from this angle, this little section here is going to protect my eyes. Uh, so the brand is Stoggles. Stoggles brand. Um, and uh, I got them on Amazon. And so I like them. They're, you know, they're cute. I think they're actually those um, blue block blue block glasses. So they do have a little bit of a tint on them, which I don't really love. I really want it clear, but they're not that bad. They're better looking glasses than some of the other ones I saw on Amazon that are supposed to do the same thing. So anyway, this is week four of Bell's Palsy. If you are also suffering from Bell's Palsy, I hope your recovery is coming along too. Um, be patient. Easier said than done, I know. Um, but we will get there. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.